Hola, familia humanidad. Hello, family humanity. Salut, la familia de humanité. Today, I'm here at Cancun. You guys cannot see it, but it's right in down over there. We just this little river called El Rio La Pasión. Cancun has the biggest palace in all the Maya world. And they went through a crazy event in 800 AD. I will tell you all of this in the next video of the story of Cancun. I don't know if you can see them. There's thousands of mosquitoes. So let's dive right into the site tour. Vámonos. Welcome to Cancun. Cancun is a Maya site from the Classic period. It's a Maya site located in the Passion subregion of the central Maya lowlands in Guatemala, south of Sayacche. Known for having one of the largest palaces in all the Maya world, Cancun was a major city reaching its peak during the 7th century. This city was a major trade center specialized in jade, pyrite, and oxygen. Its strategic position on the river Passion made Cancun a powerful, dominating trade center. This palace the largest one in the Maya civilization, in the whole Maya kingdom, was built by Tahal Chang Hak, one of the city's most powerful rulers, and he built that palace around 770 AD. The palace covered nearly 23,000 square meters and contained 200 rooms 11 courtyards, making it the largest in the Maya area. The city of Cancun had two ball courts, a large marketplace, and a dock connecting to the Passion River. A special, or maybe I should say, a sad event took place at this site in 800 AD. Archaeologists called it the Massacre of 800 AD because a total of 31 bodies dressed in royal clothing were discovered near the base of the central pyramid. Probably an attack from the city of Sebal, but that is just a theory that I have from my research because no evidence or no proof as conclude where this attack come from. Investigation have shown that the bodies, including the one of Khan Mahax, ruler at that time, had been dumped in a cistern. So, it's highly possible that Kankwen didn't even survive until the classic Maya collapse of around 900 AD. Archaeologists believe it was abandoned right after the massacre and never reoccupied. And that would make total sense because just imagine you have a wonderful lifestyle, everyone is working together in, in this beautiful city of Cancun, trading obsidian, pyrite, jade, and eventually you get attacked and 
the most important people of your civilization all get killed. So how would you react? Would you stay at that place? I don't think so. Suddenly there's this emotion called fear that will enter your body and you will rethink everything. So probably the rest of the civilization of Cancun, they relocate somewhere in a closer city or somewhere else. The story or I guess from my research, I haven't been able to find what happened after. And to conclude, I have some little fun facts about Cancun. There is no major pyramid here because it is believed that the people of Cancun use the Candelaria caves, which are really close to the site, only 25 kilometers, and they use those caves as the ceremonial temples. Fun fact number two, from all my visit at all the Maya sites in Guatemala, I visited quite a lot of sites and you can agree now if you look at my channel that I visited quite a lot of Maya sites in Guatemala. Cancun is the only one that I found with a pool. They call it the Royal Pool and it's a little basin close to uh, one of the palace over there and it was filled by a natural uh, irrigation system that was coming from underground so they found like a vein of water on the ground and they decided to build a container or a pool over it so it was filled naturally but today uh, researchers or I don't know if it's workers at the site they plug those holes that were filling the pool naturally so now it's empty and they did this for um, restoration purpose and conservation purpose so we can still see that little pool but this is another funny fact that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you love the story of Cancun. it was short and sweet and now you can connect all the dots this is my ultimate my final site visit that i do, that i've done in um, guatemala you can look at the site tour of cancun if you want to see how the site looks and for now i'm going to mexico i will edit all the video and i will start another journey of visiting all the maya aztecs toltec mixtex uh, civilization in mexico Hasta pronto, familia y humanidad. I love you.